All right, we're back again, and I had to push a few buttons here. And I apologize to my channel members, but this display is out of action at the moment. I need to buy another sensor for it. In any case, today we're going to do a bit of a sciencey one. We're going to talk about radiation a little bit here. Um, for some of you people, you would probably be uh, completely aware that I've done some uh, overseas travel. I went to New Zealand recently. But by popular request, I did a little bit of science. Now if I move my camera around here, you see I have my uh, ever-present shoulder bag um, with my New Zealand pin on it. In the place of the Texas pin that decided to pop off on the way there. Now in here somewhere, I should have a radio code 103, uh, which was gracefully supplied to me by the radio code guys for free after they saw what I did with the 101. And uh, maybe MIA. Oh, here it is. Here's my 103. Now, what I did is flying. I've been told for a long time that uh, cosmic radiation or solar radiation or wherever the radiation comes from, ionizing radiation does increase with altitude. And uh, I was curious to know exactly how much and also what this unit would read. Now, I couldn't take my 101 and my 103 and the radio code guys have pretty much ghosted me lately. We were doing some videos they've stopped talking to me. Um, but in any case, uh, they didn't really want me talking too much about the 101 because I don't produce it anymore. Anyway, I was interested to get the two of them going. I've only got so much weight that I can carry on my person. Um, and also, them economy seats do not fit somebody of my size very well. So, I took just the 103. Now, I took the time to take a bunch of photos, um, which I can scroll through here while I'm talking. At, uh, as we were climbing out um, of Auckland, I think it was. No, we were climbing out of Christchurch, leaving Christchurch. Um, I think I started around about 5,000 uh, metres because I didn't really see any appreciable um, increase on background. It was about 0.05 at background level. I do notice the screen's got some scuffing on it, so I will need to do something about that later. In any case, um, from there on, at just at random intervals, as I noticed increases in radiation, I took photos, and from those photos I was able to grab data. Some of those photos don't show the altitude, but because I have geotagging on my phone, uh, it did record the altitude in the image data. So there's a couple of mismatched points that are probably not quite right. Um, I could probably go back and make this um, chart work a little bit better. Anyway, I put them all on a chart, and um, I've had uh, ChatGPT actually do a trend line on there, a polynormal trend line for me. To get an idea of what would be an expected value over altitude this is not a hugely long video but i thought it is one of the scientific slash electronic videos that i do like to intermingle from time to time through my other videos i try and keep up with the mechanical land rover stuff some of the electronic stuff and some of the getting out and about in between shorts every second day as well so uh hopefully this won't bombard you too much it is sort of new zealand related but there's nine episodes on New Zealand. I didn't want to bombard everybody, so I spaced them out about one every four days. So we can insert stuff like this in the middle. Anyway, if it was interesting stuff, let me know. I'm keen to have a discussion about this uh, for people that know what they're talking about. Um, and uh, fill in my gaps of knowledge as to where exactly the radiation comes from. I know it's from, either, from space somewhere, but whether it's the sun or whether it's cosmic background radiation or what. I'd be curious to know. I am aware of the Van Allen belt and uh, the troubles that uh, the Apollo missions, or at least uh, landing on the moon, had with getting around the Van Allen belt and all that. So, um, yeah, interesting stuff. I won't yap on too much more, but I hope it was an interesting, uh, just a little side note of, yes, when you're on the plane, radiation is actually a thing, and it's more than you might think. Anyway, catch up with these later, and um, see you in another video. I hope it was fun.